welcome welcome guys to another jam-packed episode of food for thought with Garabu and Konsi mm -hmm. and today um, we will talk, be talking about macadamias guess what's in season mm -hmm. so farmers are currently um, busy with picking macadamia a lot of it is um, destined for the export market so we wanted to just come and bring it um, back to home you know to say what are macadamias you know who actually eats macadamia how can yeah. we incorporate it into our diets and you know where does it actually come from mm, no absolutely i mean the nut <coughs> complex is very busy thinking macadamias and pecans thinking about diet you know with the yes. you know plant-based just vegetarian is such a big move especially when you're very health conscious yes. so and macadamia is one of those crops in South Africa that's really doing well in the global mm -hmm. space in terms yes. of production, you know, yes. we are really a key player. Yes, because um, in the past, um, you know, Consi, a lot of people thought um, you, we, we really tried to shy away from fats because we thought uh, fats are uh, very bad for us. But currently, we have come to learn that they are actually good fats. And mm. that's why we are also one of the world's largest player in terms of production, like you're saying. So between us and Australia, mm. um, we interchange in terms of um, leading because we do have an on and off season, yeah. which means on the on season, uh, we will have a, a bigger harvest than normally than the off season. Then your, your, your trees actually adjust themselves and then they will produce like a smaller nyana, mm. um, crop. Yeah, and also, I mean, we export about 98% of our, co our uh, macadamia yes. nuts. So yes. only 2% is really consumed in the local space, which actually gives me the idea that there's, there's more opportunity for growth and consumption locally. Yes, and of that um, exports, you'll see that about 50% uh, will be processed in the local market, and the other one will be sent to, like, your China in, in a kennel, in a mm. raw form. So I think in future, as we also increase our production <coughs> locally, we will also have the opportunity to add, you know, in terms of the value chain yeah. and actually be able to process more the side. You know, that also talks to the employment you know, side of things and also yeah. adding to, to the economy because then we will not be um, <coughs> exporting, you know, uh, product without having added value Absolutely. to it. I and mean, when you're thinking employment and you're thinking the policies <coughs> that are in place, agro-processing keeps coming, you know, top, when you're thinking top of mind, we're thinking, you know, agro-processing in the agricultural master plan, that is where the employment gap is and that's where we can play a role. But also we are exporting a lot to China and Asia, right? Yes. And that is basically almost like what, more than 60-70% of our market. So yes. the channel is actually only focused on one destination. So if anything should happen, let's say with COVID restrictions and they close down and they say, you know, don't bring in things, we are actually in a fragile condition yes. situation, if I can put it that way. Correct. And we definitely need to expand our markets. Yes, definitely. And that's because China is continuing you know, to um, plant more. Because you know what Ch the Chinese do? If there is demand, they will make sure that they actually put the trees on the ground. But the, the trick with macadamia is it takes years for you to start harvesting, mm. you know, your plants. It can take like six years for you to actually start um, getting yields. And in the beginning of the years, you know, the yield will not be as much. You yeah. know, it starts building year on year on year. And then um, macadamia is also a subtrop um, fruit. Mm -hmm. So it means uh, your KZN, um, your Mpumalanga, your Limpopo is the area that, um, you know, you will find this crop uh, being planted. Especially now also for KZN, there is a, a strong drive with a lot of trees um, being planted yes. uh, that side. Yeah, no, I heard KZN, <coughs> there's a lot of, uh, especially some sugarcane areas are yes. being, you know, removed and uh, macadamias are taking place, uh, planting is taking place. But now it's also, it works out very well because then when you're in KZN, it's also closer to the ports, right? Yes. Because like we said, it's an export crop mainly, mm -hmm. which also brings us to the, to the highlighting of how fragile our ports are and our infrastructure is in South Africa. We saw with the floods, you know, ports need to be something that really need to be maintained and invested in so that our export commodities can actually be, be able to thrive efficiently, that, yes. especially 
Yeah, I mean, I was talking to some guys at the conference as well. You know, the stone fruits and the poem fruits, so the apples, the pears, your, uh, your apricots, your nectarines, those are the stone fruits. Uh, approximately <coughs> just this year, due to port inefficiencies and also what had happened, they had lost about almost 1.6 to 2 billion rand Ooh. just in this year alone. Yeah, so they've really been having a tough time. And most of our export crop, unfortunately, not like macadamias, are perishable, very so, like your table grapes, you know, stuff like that. So when we're thinking export crops, you must always bear in mind that systems need to be in place. Yes, and definitely also because um, like your uh, pricing is very, input costs are very high currently and the port inefficiencies, the fact that there will be a backlog, mm -hmm. you know, it adds to costs because somebody has to pay for that um, truck to be yes. there for a long time. You know, so those are uh, some of the issues that even though we do expect a very large crop this year mm -hmm. um, from the cost side of things, you know, to actually get the product out of the country to reach the, the destination, that will be a bit um, steeper than, you know, we would have liked to. Yes, I mean, freight rates are also high from what I hear about seven seven to eight percent higher than they were year on year so it's getting more expensive to get the stuff out and also you want to get the stuff out because you don't want to lose your markets that you already have retention of current markets is important as much as getting new markets definitely so, so i think just to bring it back um Concy, what do you like how do you like to consume your macadamia i see there's big trends in terms of incorporating it into your ice creams maybe you're a baker i you, you like to i'm i'm not a big baker but i love ice cream so mm -hmm. for me i really like like my pistachio ice cream my my ice cream is a winner for me when it comes to nuts consumption and yeah that is yeah. actually yeah i'm all about the ice cream yes <laughs> so i think for, for for you guys at home um, you guys must be creative because we need to sort of embrace, you know, what we produce as much as we export a whole lot more. Mm. But, you know, we, we have to try and, uh, yes, the, that goes into the local market. We need to be creative with it. Mm. And like, and I also like what you said that as much as it's a long term crop, there's potential to grow. Yes. I mean, I think there's an expectation that the crops, they'll be like two times more in the next five to 10 years in yes. terms of production from South Africa. Mm -hmm. So five to 10 years, you will be at full, full capacity. Like yeah. you said, start making good money around six years. Yes. So if you start now. So you have to be really patient, guys. Hey? And that's why you find that, you know, maybe a somebody's doing bananas then they'll put macadamias in between you know because um it's also a lot of money to invest you know mm. um to get to the to to get the trees into the ground etc so it's nice when you're also busy doing something else Ep so that yeah. by year six you know you already have something going on yeah you need to have good reserves i also believe because every year you need to invest in that plant right yes. you are spraying you there's herbicides there's everything making sure that it's growing and nurturing and so you can get the maximum yield but it's a very high price quality yes, product very so niche nice market. value so it might take a while but i believe once you get there you will actually reap your investment yeah and they're actually worth it guys you mm. yeah they're actually worth it so hey so that was it um from us guys i think we uh, it was just a nice fun fact yeah um today in terms of macadamia so they'll be harvesting up until around august, august. so when you just drive past um those three areas and you see that yeah then you know you've had it from us yeah going nuts about nuts that is us from the channel until next time please bye. do like comment subscribe and share bye, bye. <laughs>